Lord, please give us the courage to live through what is coming and pray for the lost. Amen. Today's Rosary Mysteries, of course, being Good Friday or the Sorrowful, and really before I had a chance to ask the Lord anything, I heard the agony in the garden being announced for us to pray the mysteries of the agony in the garden. And then Jesus said, This is exactly where I am in this moment, in great agony. Then I heard, My soul is sorrowful unto death. And then the Lord's voice again, These are torturous times where the death of billions hang in the balance. Lord, I get the feeling, and he interrupted me, plans are being put into motion to annihilate your country. And it's, yes, that's the feeling I get. It's not just about NATO, Claire. And then I heard, Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not my will, but yours. Jesus continued, It is about America, because her crimes cry out and reverberate to the heavens. Heavy, heavy, and weighty are the punishments she has coming, because she is behind so much of the death, rioting, disease, and chaos that has been spread around the world with her assistance, training men how to rip open pregnant women and rape children. All this and more is taught at that school, the School of the Americas, a very scandalous place. And they are teaching how to turn the people against their legitimately elected leaders and replace them with communists. Oh, how sorry a state you have fallen into, America. I gave you freedom only to see you turn around and enslave the world. How bitter is this cup. I brought my people here so they could live a free and unfettered life, only to see them turn around and plot against the innocent of the world, destroying seed so poor farmers must buy it from them, overturning good governments, installing butchers where men of peace had ruled. How very horrendous, America, are your sins that cry out from under the earth all around the world. What she has come in, Claire, is more than what you can bear to see. Pray for this nation. Great will be her demise. The great ones are coming down, meaning the great nations of the world. China, Russia, depends on who their allegiances are with. He continued, there is a plan in motion and waiting to take down all who do not support the black hats. There will be no room for dissidents. Therefore, the dark ones are bent on destroying every country that has a different agenda than their one world agenda. So many lives will be lost. Pray deeply from the heart for the survival of a remnant of your nation and for so many unsaved souls that will cry out to me in their last moments. Lord, mercy, 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 please, for those who are asleep. He continued, That is my heart and what I overflow with. However, it is quite difficult in the face of your nation's crimes against humanity. And that was the end of his message. So obviously we really need to pray for our country and the world because it's coming. And just as a note, dear family, the Lord really, really needs to be comforted. That's some of the reason why his messages are so short, because he's got a lot on his mind, and he's in such agony over all the innocent people and children and things that are going to be destroyed. His heart is just breaking. So, And for those of you who are new to the channel, this is about America that our Lord is talking about. So please pray. Pray that our leaders of the nations will do the right thing and pray for a repentant America that she will survive this chastisement. Thank you. God bless you, heart dwellers.